Hello, this is Brad from Survival Comps. Many years ago, I made a video about making center supports for dipole antennas out of Kydex material. And today, I'm going to talk about the universal insulator concept. I've made this stack out of some scrap acrylic material. You don't necessarily have to make it to the same dimensions that I've made it here, but I'm going to give you some idea about how this particular setup works so you can rig it for your own HF wire antennas. Now you don't necessarily have to use an acrylic material or kydex or something of that nature. You could use these core plast materials here that when people spam your neighborhood with uh, advertising, you know, this is a pretty good material to use. I've made balance in the past and things of that nature out of that material. Just about any type of rigid insulating material will work. The dollar store cutting boards are also an excellent choice for materials. So when I talk about a universal concept, you can see that you can rig this as an end insulator. You can rig it as a corner insulator if you had to change directions for a wire antenna. Now I'm going to show you how we can use this as a feed point for a wire antenna with either balanced feeder or coax feed. So first start out with a short piece of cordage and you're going to want to put your hang loop in. So run it through both of these center holes here like that. Now if you're rigging it for balanced feed, go ahead and take your support line and tie it underneath the two legs of your balanced feeder like that and that's going to provide a certain amount of support to it. And then simply support the rest of your balanced feeder with a wire tie through one of the windows. And here is what the back side looks like with our balanced feeder. Now if we set this up for a coax feed point, I'm going to show you how to do that real quickly. Start by prepping your coaxial cable. Just remove enough of your outer insulation here. Once we get that off, we need to go ahead and push our braid back. We need to open our braid up enough to get our center conductor broke out. I've done numerous videos on this in the past, making coax antennas, etc., etc. Go ahead and pull your braid out straight and your center conductor. Now, after you've prepped your cable, we're going to secure it to the center insulator with a simple wire tie. And the way we do that is, is setting our feed line aside, is make a bite in our wire tie, place it through here. Now run your wire tie back through like this. Now place this loop, take your line, shove it through, and you're going to want to leave a little bit in the top, and that's going to make it easier for you to make your connections. And then now pulling your wire tie tight, and here's the detail on the back side of that. Let's trim your wire tie off. Now take a second wire tie and loop it around. You can see how that provides a considerable amount of support to your feed line. Now take your center conductor and measure back a sufficient amount of insulation. And this is solid conductor cable here. If it's stranded, it's actually better because a stranded cable provides more strength. Now we'll go ahead and attach our antenna elements. And you want to take a sufficient amount of wire before you make your loop to make your connection. So just go ahead. I'm just going to use a bowline for an example here. And tie that on there. And that secures our element to our antenna and we have enough of a tail to make our connection. Now that we've attached our antenna elements, we can go ahead and make our connections to our feed. So go ahead and strip back enough of your outer insulation here. My fingers of steel aren't quite doing it. So consolidate your conductor 
Now to make our attachment, all we're going to do is a simple wire splice with a square knot. So make a bite in your shield, for example, here. Run your cable down, around, back through itself, and then just pull it tight. Now what you can do at this point is, is if you desire to flow solder across that connection and you have that you can do so. If not, this right here will suffice for a field expedient antenna. And here's our completed feed point. It's strong enough to maintain the integrity of the connection to the feed line. Is it pretty? No. But it will suffice for our intended application. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comps. Till next time.